So there's some feature for subsurface scattering that I did not know existed, just found out, and have to make a video on it. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again, taking a look at uh, subsurface translucency, which I did not know existed, which is one of the coolest things ever. Um, it definitely makes your subsurf scattering pop just a bit more. We have subsurface scattering on right now, as you can see. I also have uh, screen space reflections right there, and I also have a little bit of bloom going on at the same time. Other than that, we have a pretty basic scene. I'm going to go ahead and go down to the materials tab here. This is the material of our actual, um, of our actual meatballs here. You, well, let me change this color. There you go. This is the color of our actual meatballs here. We got uh, just a, a pretty basic white color, or almost white, rather. Um, and if I scroll all the way down here to settings, you can see that we have a couple of different settings in the settings panel. <laughs> um, and one of them is subsurface translucency, which is really cool. So if I go ahead and check this on, you can see the difference that this has on our subsurf, which just looks so so much better it just it, it's more vibrant it uh it has a really nice look to it and it just it, it gives your subsurf so much more of a of a good feel it just feels so great look at that that just looks so amazing so that's gonna be it just a really quick video talking about that that button i found right there i love it hope you guys use it hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something new today if you did let me know down below i'll see you guys in the next video but until then bye bye